Okay, so here we have a fairly nice example of the Hickok Model 533 uh, Dynamic Mutual Conductance Tube Tester. This one uh, comes with an original uh, operating instructions, which is in pretty decent shape considering how old it is. <laughs> uh, it also has uh, the um, one of these uh, units here, which is um, the thing that, that puts onto your uh, tubes that have the caps on them. Um, I'm testing a 12AX7 in the circuit right now, and we've got it set for the second test. I already tested one earlier. I will show you. Here's the line adjust right here. And uh, as you press P7 up here, you'll see that we've got it set pretty close to the line test up there. So the meter works nicely. And then by pressing P4 down here, let's see, where we go. There it is. There's P4. And, it, and that's the test on this tube. It shows you it's a little bit, it's just about, it's, it's a little on the low side. 1250, I believe, is the, oh, here's the reading right here. 12AX7. Uh, yeah, 1250. And yeah, I don't know, it's not that bad. It's a good tube. Oopsie, there we go. There we go, yeah, so it's not bad. Uh, I think the uh, switch here, you don't want to hold it down too long, hold it again there. The switch, uh, the uh, these things here, these buttons, they probably need to be cleaned. This thing's been sitting for some time, and uh, so probably needs to be taken out. Uh, test the tubes in there. Uh, also clean all these uh, uh, buttons, switches with some deoxit, cleaning the uh, sockets as well. But um, overall, it appears to work. I'm going to test some more tubes. Uh, the tube chart works nicely, as you can see here. There you go. Works real good, in fact. Quite nice. And so uh, it's a complete uh, tube tester. It has the lid and the case is in satisfactory condition. Uh, also has a tube chart here, external one, so that uh, it's pretty thorough. It's small in writing, but it's, it's all there. And so there you have it the Hickok Model 533 tube tester.